Tonight, I would like to say how honored I am to be standing here in such great company. I want to thank Dr. Borgard, who has made such a difference to our district, and his wife, Greta. I appreciate Ray Lippincott, our board president, and Melinda for supporting us all at Alberta. It is an honor to have Matthew and his parents here. He is a super student, and he is representative of all the little learners that come to our classrooms. Um, I would also like to remember my parents, who, though no longer here, were my first teachers. My children have helped and encouraged me, and I'm thankful that my daughters, Michelle and Melissa, are here with me tonight. Then I must say thank you to God, who has been with me every step of the way in bringing me to this place where I am today. There are many moments of delight in teaching. We have days that we can recall that aha moment when a child puts together sounds and reads their first word or counts to 100 for the first time. But I can also remember days filled with interruptions, starting with a jammed copy machine, a broken shoelace, loose tooth, and a late arrivals that kept coming into class. And all the while, trying to model journal writing in kindergarten. And as I dismiss the children to their seats to begin their writing, I walk from child to child to help them get started. Lily, who was having a hard time with writing, looked up to me and said, Mrs. Martindale, I really love you. This is a moment I cherish. Another delight comes from the look on a parent or a child's face when I am able to show them strengths that they maybe not have, have, have not seen yet. I can share a kindness I noted, or a helpful or respectful attitude, or an academic achievement. When I send a happy note home with a student, they beam with confidence. I have made a difference. Teaching is full of moments. There are days that are so full we feel pressure to get things done, to meet deadlines, to have meaningful parent conferences or communication, administer assessments, and to meet the needs of all the children and make a difference in their lives. But amidst all the busyness of the day, we must take the moments of delight that let them feed us and energize us to keep us doing the best we can for our kids. It is a privilege to be here as Alberta Teacher of the Year. Thank you.